G'day guys, how's it going? It's Cody Orgle coming to you guys with a video. Today I wanted to just talk to you guys about how bicycle touring in general pretty much has changed my life for the better. So I've been touring for maybe a couple of years now. I first discovered it back when I was in the USA and from that moment onwards, like each time I go on a tour, just life changing for me. So in this video, I wanna try and share some kind of points that I do have about this topic and maybe give you guys some insight Apologies if you can hear this little dude over here chewing away. Yeah, that's right, you, mate. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into the video. Well, first off, you're kind of forced into doing this, but living on a bicycle, you really only have to bring the stuff that you, you need, like the essentials. You can't bring like a three kilogram cast iron pan with you. You really need to sort out what you're taking and only bring the bare necessities, the, the freaking essentials that you're gonna need on your trip. I don't know, I guess it's like being minimalist in a way. At the moment, minimalism is is like a thing and everything, and I really think it's a, it's a good discipline. Like, bicycle touring is a minimalist discipline. Obviously, you just can't bring that much stuff on your bike, or else you're just gonna have to be carrying it, and then, and when you are riding across the country, you really start to think, do I really need this item? Or do I not? And like sometimes you mainly use an item like once in, in a month on the bike and then you start to think, well, is this really worth it? And then you might have to send it home or whatever. And because of this, I've come to the conclusion that we really don't need that much stuff in life to make us happy. Not much at all. And I know like when I was younger and stuff, I was getting trapped into the idea that I need to get a new iPhone every year or every, or every six months, you know. And what I've come to realize is that, you know, if we just have whatever we need, we don't really need anything more. But for me, I'd rather put my energy into experiences that make me happy rather than buying a lot of stuff in hopes that it's gonna make me happy. Because like, it, it does make you happy for a little bit, like buying stuff, but it kinda does wear off. But what I've found, it's like a bit of a life hack. If you invest most into your experiences in life, you're gonna have those as memories for the rest of your life. And you're gonna look back on those and, and really think, wow, I had a, an amazing time. And it's gonna be so much more valuable for you from the inside, opposed to like material things. But anyway, that's kind of my take on it. And I find I'm better off with less stuff. Even like after coming back from the tours and stuff, I've cleared out a lot of stuff. And I, I mean, I'm not hashtag minimalist or whatever, but I don't have a lot of stuff either, which, you know, I'm still trying to work that out as well. So second of all, on a bicycle tour, you get a bunch of time to be in here. If, you, if you're solo touring, you get even more time to be in your head and just have thoughts and essentially get into meditative states. I find this, like you're cycling day in, day out, like the only activity you're doing for eight hours sometimes is just pedaling, you know? And you're just sitting on the bike, pedaling, and it's a lot of time to get in your head and really ask the most important questions that there probably is in life. Like where are you going in life? Like what direction are you going? What career are you gonna choose that's gonna make you filled? Like it makes you really, really think like what do you want in life? And it's just a forever process of just bouncing around your ideas and your thought process and going mental inside here and talking to yourself in your head and just trying to figure it out. And I really think it's a great way to sort of get things in line and sort of see where you wanna go in life pretty much. And when you are like riding for a long time during the day, you can get caught in like a state of mind that loses track of time or, or where time doesn't seem to be a place of measure in a way. You could be riding and then all of a sudden like three hours have passed and you're like, where did that three hours go? It's quite amazing. And I mean, you can get these sort of states in other activities as well, I've found, just from practicing actual meditation, which is something that I'm really interested in. Something that I'm actually passionate about at the moment is mindfulness and trying to become more mindful and become more, I don't know if the word's spiritual or it's just to try and develop this thing. And I find like when I go on runs and stuff like that, it's also helpful. I love running for that because like when you're running, you're not thinking about paying your bills or whatever like that, you know? You just focus on the activity at hand because if you are pushing yourself, for example, like you're just taking an air, and that's all you can really focus on. It just pretty much distracts you from everything else that's going on in your life. But one of the things that I have really discovered through not only bicycle touring, but just travel in general, is that going out of your comfort zone and getting out into the world to a place that is unknown to you is very important for self-development and growing as a human and just broadening your horizons. I think we can get trapped in our belief systems, living in our home environment where we can get accustomed to normality. And I find that once we break away from that, if we go away, then we come back. We have a different perception, our own country's culture and the way we live our lives here. And we realize that, hey, 
it's it's kind of different to where I went. And like, what's to say that my way of living that I knew of before at home is the right way? You know what I mean? And it kind of just makes you, I don't know, like interconnected in a way where you feel like you've just grown or you've reached a higher point to where you were before you left. And like every time I go on a tour, I find it's like playing a game at times. Like I find like I level up each time I get like to the second level, then the third level, each tour I go on. Because I just find like, like it's it's almost like a comfort zone thing or like some kind of inv- invisible force field. Like you're just inside this force field and then when you go on a tour you're on it grows and then it grows and then it grows again and then it just keeps growing you know (laughs) that's my way of explaining it but it's freaking amazing also a couple of other things i learned as well is that it makes you so much more independent and that's just travel in general i guess because you're forced into making decisions where if you were back home and you you know you got this troublesome decision to make sometimes you can just you can sort of just hide away from the problem and just turn your back to it but when you're exposed in the, in the in the real world or you kind of have to use your mind to solve those problems and, and get through the, the bump in the road and, and just move on. All right, this guy's asleep now. <laughs> also, like, you get freedom. And this is one of the things that I love so much about it is the freedom. I really love the idea of doing what I want, when I want, with who I want, and wherever I want. And this is something that I'm still working on um, myself is trying to be able to finance these trips and maintain the sort of travel that I want to do. I have also learned to communicate much better. Because when you're on the bike, like people are interested when they see a loaded touring bike. They get very curious about what you're doing, where you're going, where you're heading, where you're coming from and all that stuff. And they're asking questions, right? And it's a really good icebreaker to start conversation. And through this process, I've developed to also like break away from, I guess, my sort of shyness that I had earlier on in my life to talking to strangers or making conversations with random people. I would try and avoid conversation at times. But now I find like through conversation and and the practice of doing it with hundreds of people that I don't even know that just want to have a chat to me about my adventures on the road has really helped me like develop my social skills, my communication skills. Also, doing these vlogs has helped me with my communication skills as well because obviously it's just practice, you know, like you're always talking. And like back at high school and stuff, I was not like a talking person at all. I was probably like the shyest person at school, to be honest, and I would not talk to like pretty much anyone the funniest thing and but yeah it's just like anything like if you practice it enough you'll get better at it and it's great because when you're talking to so many people like you learn their story and you learn stories from people who are homeless to people who you know are successful business owners that are running a cafe or something like that the range of people that you talk to is just phenomenal like you get just people from all walks of life and you really get to learn how they live their life sometimes you get to stay in their houses and everything like that get to really see like how they live in their life and all of that stuff and through doing this like I've found that we are different in our own different ways but at the end of the day we're all the same we're all human and we are we all share like very common things and it makes me accept like anyone I walk across and not judge them at the end of the day they're all just genuine amazing people so like yeah that's one of the things about bicycle touring is is you meet amazing people they just help you as well in so many ways and it is probably because you are like vulnerable as hell on a bike Like you look like a homeless person that needs their hand or something like that. But it is safe to say that through communicating with so many people out on the road, I've come to the conclusion that society and humanity is an amazing thing. And yeah, it's pretty much just restored my entire faith in humanity. (laughs) On that note, I do find like if you can get trapped into watching the news too much, you can kind of get sold on the idea that the world isn't really that good of a place. From my experience anyway, from bicycle touring and meeting all the people, I mean, like, it's only like a small portion of the grand scheme of things, but I've come to the conclusion from my experiences that more than 99% of people are amazing. Also, bicycle touring has made me a better storyteller, like going back to doing the vlogs and stuff, like making these vlogs and planning out and thinking like, how I'm going to do this shot, do that shot, and that shot that all works together and tells a good story. Like, that's one way it's helped me to become a better storyteller, but it's also helped in a way in terms of, like, when you come back and you want to just tell stories of, like, where you've been and stuff like that. But anyway, there's many other ways that bicycle touring has changed my life that I can't really think of right now. And when I put the camera down, I'll probably think of them. But if bicycle touring has changed 
your life in any way that I haven't discussed. I'm sure there is. Drop a comment below and let me know like one way in, in which bicycle touring has changed your life. I would love to know and see how it's changed your perspective on life and all of that. But anyway, if you guys want to read the article that I did in conjunction with this video, check out the article at CodyOrgle.com. I'll have a link down below. It should be one of the first links uh, that'll link to the written post of this video. And I hope you enjoy like these style of videos as well. I'm, I'm doing like a heap of these videos I've got. I'm trying to build my blog up and everything and I want to just add heaps of value I can in the bicycle touring niche and travel niche and just share what I've learned in my journeys and stuff. Uh, just let me quickly show you. I've got like a list here of all the blog posts that I want to write. Uh, and I'm just working on that. So, yeah, just got some posts there that I'll be pumping out. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up and also drop some comments below as well. And hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.